Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline, and this is take 58 of this video. I could not get my act together this morning. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what's sold on eBay. We're gonna pull shipping together, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what the item brought as far as profit-wise. So as many of you know, the majority of my items, I think like all of my items, <laughs> not the majority, all of my items, I charge the buyer shipping. So when I talk about the price, that is the price that the buyer pays now I still have to pay eBay fees out of that, uh, deduct the cost of the item and income taxes, but the rest is pure profit. So get yourself a cup of tea, let's get started, let's see how much money I made on eBay. Okay, so the first item I don't even need to pull because I just listed this. This is an Under Armour, I think it's called the Freedom Hoodie. So the hoodie says protect this house and inside, I, if I can do all of this with one hand, as usual, um, Freedom. So this is a men's hoodie, bought $16.99 and I paid $4.75 for this. The next item that sold is a black handbag that is unbranded and has a flaw, but I decided to sell it anyway. It's been my experience that unless something really has, you know, great damage like corrosion from batteries or something really nasty, that's the only time I don't list something or a rip or repair that is just really poorly done. But here is the handbag and this does have a flaw. So I just sold it. I'm going to insert the screenshot here and it's still a great bag, fully leather. So that is item number two. Okay. I like to bring everything back to one table and keep it all organized as much as possible. All right. Let me go on to the next item. The next item is a denim 24-7 dress. Uh, it was a 20W stretch denim. I like to pick up denim dresses, especially in larger sizes. And I think it is on this rack here. If not, it'll be folded down. Sometimes I lose track if I have folded something or if it is still waiting to be folded. So I'm just going to take a quick look on this rack and I don't see it. So that means that it is in the bins. So the bin system is over here and I'm hoping I'm not moving too quick. We're just trying to get this done today. So it would be in dresses, extra large, dark and solids, and you can see 414. That is the date that this last got inventory to make sure that the items are still listed on eBay because sometimes eBay um, loses items. I don't know, they fall off. So this is this bin here, and I'm just going to see. I think I see it already, but I think it's this one, is it? Yes, 24-7. So we'll pull that item. Now I think I'm seeing another item that's sold. I think this sold also. Universal Thread, I think that's Target. Size extra, extra large, this dress. So I'll pull this at the same time on the chance that this is the one that um, I quickly saw. Both of these dresses I paid $5.75. So um, like for instance, this one being $28.60, you have to take out the eBay fees and also take out the uh, $5.25 that I paid for it. And the rest is profit. Okay, let's go on to the next item. The next item is a Pottery Barn teen pillowcase set. And it's a set of two. They're new, pink and white. So those would be in the Pottery Barn section. It might get dark here for a little while, guys. I didn't really want to set up too much lighting. So this is either going to be in pillow shams. I do have a whole pillow cases, quilts, duvet covers, pillow cases. It might be in this one. Because I pick up so many pillow cases in shams, sometimes they get a little bit um, switched around. But I think this is them right here. Dotty, yes. So the two of them and I'm just going to leave that open because I think some more pillowcases sold. $41.60. And <laughs> I hate even saying what I pay for Pottery Barn because in case the buyer is watching, it seems, you know, a little bit crazy. But I'll show you this. This is $28.50. That's what the store would normally charge for the set of two. And they bought two. You know what? I have to see if this is a quantity of one or a quantity of two. There are two cases 
and they bought, where do I see this? Um, I'm going to really have to take a look at this because it's a set of two. eBay, where do you put the quantity? Let's see. Let's see. Huh. Okay. I think they just bought one of these for 40, 4160. I'm not saying I'm going to check on my computer whether this is a set of one or a set of two. Two are in each package. So I'll bring both upstairs, but before I ship out, I will make sure I'm sending the right quantity to the buyer. All right, next up, Vintage Gib Hat Paris. I just got these at the auction. I paid $15 plus buyer's premium of 12, I think it's 12.5%, and they are in women's hats. And I see it right there. It's this red hat that's sold. Okay, so here is the vintage Gib hat. Look how cute that is. Again, I will insert the screenshot of this. Now I did get the three at auction. I got a blue one, a multicolored one, and this red one. And I won them for $15 plus buyer's premium and tax. So not great profit here. This one sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So somebody do all of that math. <laughs> okay, the next thing up that I sold is a pair of women's boots, size nine, brown leather. And the buyer... Um, asked about these and they went on sale and she bought them. I let her know that they went on sale. They sold for $40 and 30 cents. I paid seven, uh, seven forty seven. So these are either going to be on this side where women's Oxfords are, or they will be in boots. Sometimes booties could go either way with me. So depending on where I have the most room, and I'm not seeing them here, so they must be in boots. And it looks like in here. So I'm going to put the camera down and dig for them, and I will be back. Okay, so this is the brown boots bin, and these are them. Oh, I see them. They are right here, this one and this one these other back in and I'm not even going to try to lift this bin with one hand I'm just going to leave it here and I will close up all the bins at the end so these are the boots that sold I have never heard of this brand before how are we saying this brand La Canadienne look how pretty these boots are really nice shape And I don't even see the brand. The brand must be inside. Okay, so I said $40.30. And the buyer, who was a sweetheart, wrote me and said that she really loves these boots. She's so glad that they were included in the sale. So thank you so much. The next item up is a jewelry box from Sea Wonder. And it has a T monogram. So that's what that looks like. A little bit dust, and I will wipe this out either with a, um, a special felted applicator that picks up lint or with a rolly. Make sure it's nice and clean going out to the buyer. And this brought, did I say that already? $17.40, I believe. Yes, $17.40, and I paid $2.99. All right, let's see what's next. Next up is... A little vintage uh, crystal cut wine stopper. So it is just the wine stopper, and I see this right here. And I had to give the measurements of the diameter of this. I'm sorry, circumference of this. And what did this sell for? I liked it better when eBay had in the app where they showed you what things sold for without having to go into each item. $14.99, and I paid $1.99. Very heavy, beautiful crystal. All right, next up, the Joan Rivers keepsake box, the hummingbird sold. We love the hummingbird, and that is right here. This is one of the items that I got at the auction two weeks ago, three weeks ago, <laughs> so many weeks ago. So beautiful. And if I remember correctly, he does, does he open? Um, do I have the right one? Joan Rivers... Flights of Fancy Keepsake Box. There he goes. So that's what he looks like. And I will let you know what he brought. $20.99. 
$26.40. Okay, so I can't tell you what I paid for this individually because that is in the paperwork that is upstairs. Um, and I don't remember. I think I got him on a tray of birds. I'm going to guess. All right. So the Freedom Hoodie is next. We already talked about that one. The next item up is Cuddle Duds Woman's Pajama Top. It is a mousse print. I was hoping for the pants but couldn't find them. And just the top brought $12. So that mousse top is either... Here it is. Nope, that's not it. I lied. <laughs> um, is anybody seeing a mousse top? Might be folded down. Now just know all of this clothing I keep plastic over. I took the plastic off before I started filming so that um, it, you know we wouldn't have to hear crinkling plastic. All right, I'm looking, looking. It's so much easier when things are, here it is right here, when things are folded down. But this is the top, $12, Cuddle Duds. I paid $2.50 for this. And like I said, I did look for the pants. And if I would have found the pants, I might have got this. <laughs> Looks very cozy. All right, we're just going to add that to the pile. Go on to the next thing. The next thing is a vintage Lord & Taylor cashmere pullover sweater. I just got this. I paid, I believe I paid a top price they charged me for this, which is $4.75 now for tops. And here it is here. So that is Lord & Taylor. Beautiful sage green color cashmere sweater. Beautiful condition. Like I said, I paid a top price for this. Goodwill is funny. You really have to check with them because every time you bring something up, you're not quite sure what you're paying for it. You have to ask them, what does this count as? So, uh, because they just have colored barbs. They don't have um, the price on the individual item. Okay, $35.99, and I paid for $25. Next item, let's keep this moving. The next item, beautiful alpaca sweater skirt. So this did not have a size on it. Fits small, medium. I will put the insert here. And what did they pay for this? The buyer paid $81 plus shipping. Let's go find the alpaca sweater skirt. I'm pretty sure I packed that one down. <laughs> Maybe it's less words. Skirts are on this rack here. I uh, should have went the other way. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. Here are skirts here. And I don't see a rainbow skirt. So I will check here quickly. Okay. If anybody wants to help fold, <laughs> come over and help fold. All right. It must be in the skirt section. A little chilly down here this morning. All right, I'm going to have to put the camera down and see if I can find the skirt. Okay, so I apologize. This corner is very dark. I hope you can see it. I just pulled this bin down off the shelf so I can dig. Oh, no need to dig. The skirt is right here. I'll pack a skirt. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm going to pull that out, and I'm just going to leave this bin down and not put it back in case I sold another skirt in a size medium. All right, so our pile is building, building, building. Let's go on to the next thing. The next thing is a men's pajama shirt, and what did they pay for it? Let me go into it. They paid $14.99. Again, just the shirt, no pants. And this is either on the men's rack or it is in men's pajamas. I have a bin for that. But I'm thinking it's up here somewhere. A lot of hoodies. I always sell a lot of hoodies. Let's see if I can find this. Um, I don't see it off the top of my head. So it might be somewhere. All right, I'm going to put the camera down and come back when I find it. So here is the Polo Ralph Lauren men's pajama top with the Polo Pony on the pocket. And what did I say this sold for? $14, right, guys? <laughs> I'm losing track. $14.99. Okay, we got that. We got that. Next up is Crabtree and Evelyn London Mason's cup. It's a bathroom cup. I put or pencil holder. <laughs> How's that for being versatile? <laughs> or you can keep pencils in your bathroom cup. $32, blue and white. Oy, this is why I stopped picking up mugs. Now, I don't even know if it's going to be on here. 
Does anybody see Crabtree and Evelyn? My guess is it's going to be over here. That's the way my brain thinks. And let's see, it is a blue and white. Okay, not on that shelf. Oh, I see it. Okay, so here is this cup. Mason's Crabtree and Evelyn London. And what did I say this sold for? $32. Okay, and it's even got a little bit of a, this looks like a paint overrun to me. Not exactly sure, but um, $32 and I paid $1.99. So that is the next item. All right, the next item, I'm going to have to put the camera down again, maybe. Taylor Tin, oh, my oil burner just turned on. So if you hear that noise, that's what that's about. Taylor Tin, four lunch plates, and I think four dinner plates. I might not have to put the camera down. This is back here. Let's see if I can lift this. So here are the lunch plates. And that's what that looks like. Not thrilled with having to ship dishes, but here we go. Just put my big girl pants on and get it done. And there are the dinner plates. And I'm not sure what the buyer paid, but thank goodness they paid for the shipping. Let's see what they paid for the dishes. They paid $39 and of course shipping. Okay, the next item that sold is a jacket from the Anthropology um, buy I did, and it is Esme Anthropology Velvet Jacket. Okay, so jackets, I sell a lot of jackets. So what I do is I sort them. Let me see if I can show you the sticker on the side. I sort them by color, by type of item, and by size so these are neutral jackets medium size greens and blue so anything beige green blue in jacket in a size medium would be in this bin and i have two of them so here they are right here so i'm just pull one of those jackets i have another one left okay and that is that item beautiful beautiful and i averaged everything I bought and did it that way. So I think the average of what I paid for this jacket was $20. And what did the buyer pay? The buyer paid $74.99 and shipping. Okay. Next up is a hockey jersey. This is an NHL men's 2XL. And we will get that one. So the Phillies jersey uh, is really more like a thermal or a knit. I see it right now. This is where I do polos and rugbies, jerseys, things like that. You can see swimwear and shorts. This one is a thermal and knit, and that's what this material is like for this shirt. So here it is right here. And it just has a little tag, flyers, men's shirt, hockey, 2XL. And then I always confirm that it's what's in the picture. So the buyer paid what for this for this shirt? $13.20, and I paid four, $4.50 for this. Okay, the last item up I actually have pulled because this was an auction item. And I picked this up. Where did I get this? You know, guys, I can't even remember. Did I get this um, <laughs> at an auction? I have no idea where I got this. I think I got this at Goodwill. I think, I think. All right. And this, um, I think the flashlight batteries had corrosion, but I figured I would pick it up anyway for these two pieces and leave that piece in there and just disclose it and just make it a low price just to move it through. I did not realize that this had corrosion when I bought it. I forgot to check the batteries. So when something has batteries, you always want to check, especially if the item is vintage, that the battery housing, the case is good, you know, that there's no batteries or that the batteries are fresh. $10 I let this one go for. And I believe I paid $3 for this. So not a high profit, but I was glad somebody could use it and that I didn't have to damage it out. All right, so I think we're going to end there because this will just go on and on. And that is a little glimpse inside. I put one of my bright lights set up so you guys can have my see. Okay, guys, so I am going to end this video here. I got to get serious and get my shipping done. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.